Hey everyone! Today I'm going to go over some of the most popular JavaScript questions that are asked in full stack and front end junior developer interviews. I've gotten at least one of these questions in pretty much every junior developer interview I've had. So I'm going to give you the top five most popular JavaScript interview questions going from least popular to most popular. Stay tuned to the end. All right, number five. What is the difference between get and post when making an Ajax request? I feel like this question gets asked in basically every junior developer interview as one of the first questions just to kind of get you warmed up. Get and post are two different types of HTTP requests. You're going to want to use get when you're retrieving data from a remote server, for example, the Twitter API. You're going to want to use post when you want to send data, say, from the client to the server in order to create or update something server side. So for example, a user creates a new blog post on your web application, and we want to send that data over to the server to be saved. In that case, we want to use post. Number four, what does JSON stand for and what is it used for? So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's essentially a text-based data format that makes it easy to share information across the web. So for example, if you're sending data from the client to the server or you're requesting data from an API, typically that comes in JSON format. So the structure of JSON looks a lot like a JavaScript object literal, but the two are not the same thing. The fact that they look a lot alike makes it really easy to convert one to the other and vice versa. All right, number three. What is the difference between the double equals operator and the triple equals operator? So essentially, the double equals operator will try to coerce the two values being compared into the same type if they're not. And the triple equals operator will not do any sort of type coercion. What that means is if you're using the triple equals operator, if the two values being compared are not of the same data type, it will always be false. The double equals operator will sometimes lead to unexpected results, so try to use the triple equals operator whenever you can. Number two, what is the difference between null and undefined? This one's a little bit of a tricky question because they both are falsy values in JavaScript. So in a nutshell, null is a JavaScript object and undefined is a JavaScript data type. Undefined is simply a data type like boolean, string, etc. With undefined, the variable may or may not have been declared, and it definitely has not been given a value. So if I open up my developer console here, you can see that a variable is undefined if it doesn't exist or you haven't declared it yet. It's undefined even if you've declared it, but you haven't assigned it a value. You need to declare it and assign it a value before you use it for it to not be undefined. In day-to-day -day web development, I don't think I've ever encountered an instance where I'm intentionally assigning a variable the value of undefined. Chances are you're just going to run into reference errors because you're trying to manipulate a variable that has not been defined yet or is out of scope. Null, on the other hand, it represents the intentional absence of an object. Null is a value that sometimes you will intentionally assign to a variable or return from a function. All right, now to the very last question, probably in my opinion, the most common question I've been asked in, in, in interviews. And it's a question that we ask in our mock interviews for bootcamp students. What is the difference between var, let, and const? The first thing you probably want to mention is scoping. Let and const are block scoped, whereas var is function or global scoped. Let me show you an example. So here you can see that if I create a new variable using the var keyword, the variable is actually um, accessible even outside of the if block. If you came from a programming language such as Java, as I did, um, this can be really confusing at first. So once I switch from var to let, now the variable is accessible only within that if block. It throws a reference error if you try to reference it outside of that if block. Const and let behaves a lot more like the way variables do in other languages. Say, for example, if you use Java, variables declared with const cannot be reassigned nor redeclared. So if in doubt, always use const as a default instead of var and use let when you know that the value will probably be reassigned, such as in a for loop or, you know, 
altering strings in an algorithm. Now that we have const and let, I only really use var when I'm testing something. I feel like in interviews, especially for the junior developer positions, I don't know if it's just me, but I remember when I was doing my interviews for the first developer job I ever got, I got asked the same questions over and over again in different interviews. It's like all the interviewers pick their technical questions from this small online bank of questions so it's it's worth your time to study some of these common questions all right guys that's all i have for you today if you found this video helpful please leave a like and subscribe down below and if you have any questions please leave me a comment otherwise i will see you in the next one bye